video called a year ago. White privilege. I don't remember the damn video at all. A crazy time. But that video and a video on about Pino and that dude Fred or Jake or whatever that fucking three-way beef thing was going on. And I did a video, I put Pino's name in, that got the fucking, that's the leader of my fucking videos with the most views. People love Pino or they love to hate him. I think he's cool, man. I don't know. I mean, Fred or, I don't really know him. And Jake, I don't really know him either. But I'm, I'm subscribed to him. I see him when I check YouTube every now and then. Y'all seem to be doing their thing and happy for him. Now, Pino didn't come close when I did that fucking Wes Watson video. God damn, that thing went to like 100,000 views. I was like, oh shit. I didn't realize views mattered. I wouldn't, but I wouldn't have raised it, but I don't think you liked it anyway, so I just fucking raised it. I don't care about no damn views, man. I don't really give a fuck if you subscribe or not, man. I ain't here to just fucking make money. I'm just here for my own therapy. I'm fucking. Some people tell me they fucking enjoy my fucking talking, so. Even if they're fucking with me, I'll just believe in this, you know? But the other video was uh, of, like a white privilege video. That's still, to this day, it gets fucking views. It's always like the second rated fucking video. You can look on analytics and it's, you know, it's always like the second to whatever the one I just did, you know, for views that month. And I'm going to say still, I hope I said this last time, but I'm pretty sure I did because I've always had the same view. Yeah, I think fucking white privilege is bullshit, you know? The whole race thing was, you know, set up pretty, pretty good, man. Because they got the sheep just buying into it. You know, I think a lot of the racists, they're not even really racist. They're just fucking doing what Larry down the street's doing, you know. And then they just get caught up after that. I don't think white privilege is definitely. Well, I'm sure white privilege is everywhere, but so is fucking Asian privilege and Mexican privilege and all privileges. You know, it, it, I don't know how to explain it better to people, but it's not skin color. It's how much money you have in the bank. Man. That's all that matters. You think that you have a fucking. People who win the wars make the history. It's like people probably fucking badass dudes just got fucking erased off the map because their team lost, you know, and all of a sudden fucking the history books are gone and new ones are up, you know? I think it's like that been like that forever. The history books are fucking full of lies, you know. Started talking about fucking Columbus Day. Lee Erickson was here 500 years before Columbus. You know, fucking rape and pillage and fucking cause diseases. Fucking live with the people. And what about the fucking people that were here? How did you discover? Anyway, so that I think that's where white privilege comes from. It's not white privilege. It's how much money you have privilege or uh, who you know privilege. I think that's a lot more than white privilege. If there's white privilege, it skipped me. People say, oh, well, if me and you went here and... Not true. 
and maybe it is my tattoos. I don't know, but I was walking down the street. True story. It was in Old Town. It's a fucking very touristy place. And I'm walking down the street. There's an older couple coming at me. It's a painted picture now. Pretty sure they were from Minnesota or Wisconsin. They look like those kind of white people. They could have lived right there. I don't know. <laughs> and I'm just saying, that's what's in my head right now, okay? These fucking Midwestern and white people are coming. And across the street, there's three three brothers that are just fucking, you know, shooting the shit, playing with their basketball. They were younger, probably teenagers. Maybe 19 or 21. And there were three of them. And fucking, as soon as I get about, I'm headed right for fucking Karen and Tom. And they get, they're looking pretty intensely. And then all of a sudden, they must have got a good look or whatever. <laughs> they just beeline for the other side of the street. And she grabbed her purse. That's what offended me most. So, I don't really think it's fucking about race. I think they want you to buy into that whole thing, man. If you're worrying about race, you're not worrying about other things, you know? Is that what you say, sure, sure? You're all of a sudden crazy. Crazy how the fucking media will, the government will, they'll all just spin things, you know? It's just fucking wolf ticket, man. They're just selling you wolf ticket, but people fucking screw them up. What's it? Do what you're told, motherfuckers, man. My white heritage got any white privilege. I'm Scandinavian and German. Leaning more towards Scandinavian. I don't know. I don't I know a few German people, they don't seem racist. Bunch of Scandinavian, they don't fucking seem racist, but I think everybody's racist. But collectively, I think white folk are at the bottom, man. Of like racist, because there's racist brothers, there's racist Mexicans, there's racist Hondurans, there's racist everything, man. They, it's like something that you have to reteach, you know. If you constantly hear that shit growing up or your friends like that shit growing up, that's that's what you're gonna be, you know, you know that's what you're gonna believe and man, all the names, all the names we used to call each other fucking when we were kids, now you say that shit and, you know, everybody's offended by everything, you know, it's just a fucking name, you know. You can call me whatever you want, man. That shit will not bother me. And it's like you control how you look, you know? If you don't care, there's a very liberating feeling, man. I cared for a long time what people thought of me. A long time. Since I stopped caring what people think. No more peace, man. It really is. Now I gotta fucking figure out how to stop talking down to myself and making myself feel fucking so shitty. It's like not that big a deal, you know? I'm fucking turn your hand on the wall real quick, you know? With your thoughts. Is there a way for them? No, yeah, probably. But I think they're all on. 
more the amount of money in your pocket than your color of your skin. So honestly, think about it. Could you say every certain person in you pick your cream color and nationality in that group can you see every single one of them being a piece of shit? Come on, even the most sensible person has oh well there's a couple good ones, you know? But it's just stupid. You can't just throw a blanket on a whole group of people and say that's what you all are, you know? But everybody does, you know? Everybody does. And people say every cop is bad. I don't think they're all bad. I definitely think they won't. They got that no snitching thing down way better than anybody else. Cause they fucking, they don't tell on their own, man. I gotta respect that at the sub level because tattling nowadays, it's like it's no big deal. When it tattling is more than just telling on somebody, you know, it's, it's like a betrayal of that person's trust. And once you lose trust. Pretty much a dud deal, yo. It's a hard thing to get back, anyway. I'm sure people have, and I'm sure people do, but I don't think it's easy. Yeah, there ain't no white person coming out. I think a lot of people think I'm. Um, racist at first, you know? but they figure out quickly I'm not. I hate every race equally. <laughs> Turned that old fucking hermit. I was pissed off yelling at the kids outside. Privilege. Go get money. If that's what you want. I'm good.